couch Dogs, me, guitar lessons Hey there Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome improvisation lesson right here on Lickin' Riffs. In this video, we're gonna discuss the basics of fingerstyle improvisation. Now, the very basic way to improvise with fingerstyle is to take chords and learn how to play around with them. So the very, very basic uh, method is to actually get to know the chords. So just take basic chords, you know, G, D, E minor, C, A minor, and try to get to know them, you know, in depth. You know, what each strength sounds like and what each combination of strengths sounds like. And the way to do it is just, you know, just let yourself play very, very simple finger style rhythms and try to surprise yourself with the order of the strings, okay? If you're used to playing one, two, three, play three, two, one. If you're used to playing three, two, three, one, play it, you know, play three, one, three, two, and see what comes out of that. The secret is to actually do it and let yourself have fun while doing it. Even if it doesn't make sense at the start, who cares? You're having fun, right? So just, you know, take a few chords and try to do it. That's the very, very first step. Now, I just let my fingers, you know, use the chord progressions that they already know. It's all simple chords. You can also take a song and take its chords and just go with the flow and try to create a new sort of rhythm with it. For example, let's take, um, you know, a Spanish chord progression. Okay, B minor, A, G, and F sharp. You can do anything you want with it. Okay, you can also use F sharp minor. Okay, and that's the first step, just get to know the chords. The second uh, step is to hammer on and pull off certain notes. For example, in A minor, as we all know, we can play the open second string, so we can do okay, a pull off from one to zero, or a hammer on from zero to one. We can also use three on the second string. Okay? Okay? And if we go to G, then we see that we have in that chord we have the open second, third, and fourth string. So we can use that as a move. Okay? We can play the open strings first and then the bass note from A minor to G. Okay? We can we just search for good transitions. And if we know that we're gonna go to D, then we know that we have three on the E string and G. So if we're gonna go to D, we have two on the E string, so we can use that as a transition. Okay, a melodic transition from three to two. We can also keep the three and then pull it off. Okay, to two uh, on D. We can do the same with E minor. Okay, or from two to zero, okay? okay. Um, it all depends on, you know, what you feel like doing at the moment. And I'm just giving you verbal examples and then I'm gonna show you what I'm doing and then you will be able to spot it when I do it. And if we're in the key of G, then we have the open strings uh, all the way, you know, strings two, three, and four. So we can use them, for example, here. Okay, we can pull off one to zero on C as well, not just on A minor. And let's try that one to zero on E minor and see how that sounds. Okay, really interesting, right? Gives us an interesting feel. And we can try to play around with that. And 
that gives us a really nice uh, start. Okay, and just search for that small, you know, that's very, very short lick, that very, very small idea that sparks up uh, the enthusiasm. Okay, I found this, okay, the one to zero in E minor. And then I decided, wait a minute, it sounds great on A minor, it sounds great in E minor, let's try to explore it. And that's what improvisation, go, go. And that's what improvisation is all about. Improvisation is all about exploring. So if you want to improvise in finger style, just try to explore the chords. And now I just tried uh, a variation on the basic rhythm. I just played the, the fourth string twice. Okay, instead of... Okay, it just made a very slight difference. Okay, now let's... Move on. Okay, I added the E string, a high note, just another variation on the main theme. Okay, now I played both the E and B strings. I just let my fingers go. Now, it's a bit hard to do it, if I stop to explain every second, so I'll just uh, I'll just let myself play, and then I'll explain what I did to the best of my recollection. C and D, C and D, or C and D. And then as I got, you know, deeper into the improvisation, I let my fingers go crazy and play whole, all sorts of, uh, you know, different rhythms. But it was basically the same lick. I just started with the same, okay, the same thing. I just you know, built up on it. And that's the key to improvisation. Take this, take this as an exercise. Play A minor with one and zero on the second string, play it however you like, hammer it on, pull it off, play all three notes. Do the same thing with E minor. Then add C and you can play one zero on the second string and you can play D over here, C two frets up, or this D. And you can add the open E string as a motif. Okay? If you like. Or not, you can add another note. You can add three as your motif. Okay? Now, this is a little bit different and it takes it into a different direction than my previous uh, improvisation, but I can show you how this works as well. Um, you can also pull off three to zero on the second string when you're in D. You can pull off three to zero on the E string. Okay? okay? Or this. Okay, you can pull off all of them. Um, you can slide the whole chord. Okay? You can, um, actually, it'll be better if I give you an example. I'll try. I'll try to use a different rhythm. Okay, Thank you. 
a crude transition because it was basically the same um, it was basically the same melody as before but I forced a different rhythm on it it was a bit difficult at at first, but then I got going and it started to sound fine. It started to sound like something on its own when I added three on the E string as a motif. So um, that's your exercise for this lesson. Now I'll try one last example. I'll try to add G and we'll turn it from E minor to G major. Um, you can use the same ideas, but uh, they will sound differently because now we're in major. So let me try. mistake there at the end but you you hear the difference I, I added the same things okay. Okay, exactly the same motifs but now we were in G major the only uh, the only thing I added the only lick I actually added was okay uh, two on the third string okay I added this okay I also added three on the second string with the open E string, making this G6, but there's no need to get into theory. Everything you play will be, you know, will be splendid. Okay, now um, this, this G add nine, but uh, I can show you a different way to look at it. It's as if I played the D chord notes on G. Okay. just played a rhythm and added them you know just embedded them within the rhythm and again remember start slowly start simply start with a simple rhythm and then move on to bigger and better things not necessarily better actually sometimes the simpler uh, the simpler songs the simple patterns are the best patterns and the best you know music you can play so uh, it all depends on what you hear at the moment remember listen react listen to what you're playing react to it play a little bit with the rhythm play a little bit with the licks add a motif here and there don't go crazy don't add everything at once i was doing it just to give you examples of what you can do but as you saw right now in g d e minor a minor and c when we played it in g major i tried to be very very simple uh, and just add a delicate note here and there um, and i didn't go over the top as in the e minor examples so uh, that's your exercise for this lesson so i'll see you in the next lesson thank you very much for watching bye for now